Lil Chrissy. It'll be fun. Apples, check. Juice, check. Impenetrable armor, check. Yep, I'm good to go. On a peaceful afternoon in Canterlot, a unicorn stallion guard arrives in the castle's foyer, awaiting to start a shift. Down the hall, he spots a guard mare with arrows stuck in her armor limping towards him and meets her halfway. She's napping right now. She sighs. Good luck. No problem. He nods. Eh, we've dealt with worse. Oi, don't remind me. The stallion watches the mare limp off before entering the room ahead. Inside, he walks over the clutter of children's toys to a wide baby crib topped with a plethora of fluffy throw pillows. Rise and shine, little one. He whispers, peering into the bed. Time to wait. The guard's silly smirk vanishes. Oh, hey, feathers. Frantic, he flips back the covers and digs deep within the mountain of pillows and plushies, only to find nothing underneath. <sighs> Where are you, you little troublemaker? He utters, scanning every inch of the room. These walls are magically sealed, so there's no way you can get out so easily. Is some pony plotting again? Yeah! From above, a little changeling foal armed with a dull butter knife leaps from a hanging ceiling light and dives for the stallion. Die, 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 die! She squeaks, weakly stabbing the guard's impenetrable breastplate. Oh, Chrissy. The guard sighs, levitating the wriggling child. What are you doing? Silence! So that I may hear you throw gurgle with blood, peasant! Die, die, die! Well, some pony woke you up on the wrong side of the cradle. You'd be angry too if you had to endure days of hearing yourself talk with this unbearable speech impediment. I'm going to disembowel Celestia for that. Well, perhaps it's so darn adorable hearing it from you. Mm. Come on now. Let's get you something to eat. Ooh, is your spleen on the menu with a side of age love? <laughs> Funny. The guard places the frowning queen in a full-size pouch attached to his breastplate and straps her in tight before exiting the magically enhanced room towards the kitchen. Hmm. Chrissy ponders, observing the vast hallways. What you thinking about? The guard asks. Just planning my escape. Oh, you're already playing make-believe. Silence! I will liberate myself from this awful prison that you call a kingdom and take over Equestria. The stallion drowns out the filly's adorabolical speech upon entering the royal kitchen. He sets her down in a high chair near the dining room table and pours a few apples onto the counter beside a mixing bowl. I brought a few trees for you to have today. A thick kitchen knife graces the stallion's helmet and pierces the wooden wall beside him. Oh, thanks. I needed that. He hums, plucking the utensil out and cutting up a couple of crisp apples. One of these days. One of these days. Chrissy grumbles. Don't make me have to put you in time out now. Do your worst. You're just giving me more time to conjure up my escape plan. <sighs> Why do you want to escape so much? I used to have armies, soldiers, a kingdom so hazardous that I could poke the eyes of my enemies at every turn. I am Queen Chrysalis, ruler of the changelings. I shall control you and every pony you hold dear, and when I'm released from this dreaded cutesy wootsy spell, I swear to the highest heavens that I will swike again. Well? You're so precious when you're monologuing. I love you. I love you too. Uh, uh, wait, say that again. Oh, what? That I love you? Yes, yeah, say that again, but a little closer. Curious, the stallion approaches the suspicious child, whose frown lifts up into an anticipating grin. I wa- Chrissy's pupils shrink to the size of toothpicks and her jaw hangs alarmingly low. She bears her sharp jagged fangs, drool sliding down her dangling serpent-like tongue as she emits a low hiss from her hungry gaze. No! The guard huffs, flicking the foal on the nose with a wooden spoon. Bad changeling overlord! Bad! Ow! She whines, rubbing her nose. Uh, can't blame me for trying, though. Queen's gotta eat. You eat pony food now. Blah! You mean this garbage? Hey, it'll taste a lot better if you just reform already, you know. Never! Why not? Because I... Hmm. Because nothing. The guard sighs, plopping a spoonful of applesauce into the changeling's puckered mouth. Now hush up and eat your garbage, silly filly. Ugh, that's putrid! How could that ignorant farm pony stomach this waste? <sighs> Relax, Chrissy. It's a nice day here. The sun is shining. Yuck. Every pony's happy. Gag! The birds are singing. Then there is a chomp. The guard turns around and spots a flailing yellow wing fluttering about between the foal's lips. N no, drop it! He gasps. Now, Chrissy! Her! She growls. Drop! Her. Chrysalis begrudgingly releases the poor bird from a robust maw as it darts out of the kitchen window like a gunshot. What? The changeling shrugs. I was just eating like you told me to. Her snide remarks are cut off with a sippy cup. Hmm. Good, isn't it? 
No, you fool! I will destroy you! After a few more steps. Okay, now that you're settled, let's see if you remember your letters. A. Mm, awesome. B. But where? C. Castration. D. Die! Chrysalis flips her dish onto the floor and lunges from her high chair with the same dull knife, stabbing at the guard's helmet, barely leaving a scratch on it. Okay, we'll come back to that another time. The stallion sighs, picking up the full in his magic and setting her back down in her high chair. Let's move on to a little math. Ugh, and every pony says, I'm evil. So if he had 12 apples, and I ate 5 of them- Take them all! Spare me! Mm, wait, maybe I should do one in a way you'd understand. Um... Oh, okay, I got it. I'm all ears. Celestia has 40 teeth. You use a wrench to knock out 18. How many teeth would she have left? <laughs> that would be 22 teeth, but I can swing harder than that. Alrighty then. What are my chances of surviving your wrath? The exact percentage of your chances of survival is 0 0.00046573333, repeating infinitely. Oh, goodness, you're a throw one. Alright, here's one more. Ponies have 205 bones. Your brainwash and break 58 of one pony. How many are there left for you to mutilate? Precisely, 140 bones for me to feast on. That's correct. You did it, Chrissy. Yay! Shocked by her reaction, Chrysalis covered her mouth. Chrissy, did you just say yay? The guard chuckles. Well, what? N no! You just yayed! Silence! Oh, you'll be reformed in no time, little one. Just you wait. You know nothing! <sighs> Whatever you say. Come on, let's get you cleaned up. The guard picks up Chrissy and trots over to turn the large sink on. Don't you dare bathe me! She hisses, waddling away from the soapy sink. Okay then, if you do this one thing correctly, I'll let you go free right now. Challenge accepted. Bring it on. Say refrigerator, and you're free to go. Refrigerator. I'm sorry, uh, what? Refrigerator. Still don't know what that is, Chrissy. Refrigerator. Oh, fuck this. Freedom! Chrysalis hops off the counter and makes a cute little dash towards the door, only to be magically flung right back into the bubbly water. I hate you. She huffs, wiping her drenched mane off of her face. <laughs> I know. Nightfall approaches. Having been fed, bathed, and tolerated, Chrysalis sits angrily in the middle of her playroom. It's getting past your bedtime, little one. The guard says impatiently. You need to go to sleep. I refuse. She yawns with her hooves crossed. Vengeance never wests. The fillies do. Come on, let's go. No. The sleepy fool barely puts up a struggle as her sitter lays her down in the cozy crib. I don't want to sleep right now. Is it because a certain some pony is missing their blankie? He coos, waving a silky green blanket over to her. Uh, what, that filthy wag? Preposterous. Are you sure? Hm. I guess I'll take it. Chrysalis yanks her blankie and wraps her holy hooves around it tightly, scrunching up her muzzle. There we go. Isn't that better? Maybe. But tell any pony and I'll kill you. <laughs> sure you will. No, seriously. I will kill you. I will reach into your chest, pull out your beating heart, and eat it. All of it. Every last bit. Well, good night. Sleep well. Y yeah. Don't worry. I've gone to appreciate you, I suppose. Really? You mean it? Of course. Aw, come here. The stallion happily wraps and swaddles Chrysalis up in her warm blankie, leaning her into a tender huggle, nuzzling her dark cheek. That's why I'll kill you last. <laughs> she whispers in his ears. <laughs> Good night, Chrissy. He scoffs, resting her on a pillow. Prepare for tomorrow, God. <laughs> why? What's happening tomorrow? The same thing I do every day, fool. Chrysalis struggles, rubbing her hooves together menacingly in the blankie. Try to take over Equestria. <laughs> I like that little nod to Pinky in the brain at the end. It was pretty nice. The whole thing was pretty well structured and very unique, I'll say. Definitely one of the most adorable yet violent stories out there. I just have a feeling that any of those guards are gonna need more than just a beer after that. Now let's get on to our responsible donators. Top donators TacoCat598, Peter Coltard, J Tin Man, Darkseid, Gauntlet, and only one thing. 
Czar630, Strix, Raiden, Narwhals, Black Moonheart, Drake Love Dragon, Pastel Skies, Austin Rollin, Magazine, Crazy Killer 557, Dosbo, Madman Stan, Delta Omega, Jack Hedge, Runescythe9852, Hunter Norman, Stephen Bingham, McDoofus456, Dash of Evergreen, Rani Dragonwolf, Ponyman, Tal Rasha, The Toilet Snake, Sword Brother and Mordred, Ron and Wandering, Random Person Man Guy, Easy, Skyogia, Leslie Perkett, Jordan Peterson, Crimson Kits NA9, Lightskin, Monster Kitty, Needs a Life, Milan Biehenek, Michael Dale Aramor, and many more fantastic people. Thank you all so much for watching this video and live life to the fullest.